it is main event time match number 10 from january 3rd 2024 at stardom new year star show it saw the teams that made it the whole way through the derby well one of the teams didn't have to face anyone until this last match here i'm talking about god's eye suri mirai and amy sure took on the bari bari bombers that's julia thekla and may sakurai from Donna Del Mondo in a hell of a match. Now, what's interesting is before this match started, um, Julia got on the mic and was mouthing off about something. And I say mouthing off because she seemed to have some kind of grit behind it, some kind of, I don't know, something behind what she was saying. Now, until this goes on Stardom World, there are no subtitles, so I can only guess. I didn't see this interpreted online. It might be out there. I didn't see it. Um, the winners of this tournament aren't always the champions, you know, the, the artist champions, the six-person champions. It just so happens that the champions made it to the end pretty much by default. So I think what typically happens here is the winner of this tournament gets a title shot down the road. But since the champions were in the final, and I'm thinking, Julia's thinking, hey, we haven't faced anybody. We're fresh as daisies, right? And we're taking on God's Eye, who is in their third match. So why don't we make this a title match? Because if the champions win this, I assume they just pick their challenger, right? So Julie's like, why don't you just challenge us for the belts right now? Because Suri got all excited. Well, had her mouth dropped open, you know, like she was shocked while nodding her head yes at the same time. So that clearly seemed to be like, wow, really? Of course, of course we'll take we'll take a title shot right now. And they call in Rossi, who is the matchmaker, among other things. He agrees, he nods, he picks up the titles, carries them into the ring, and they do the traditional pose between champion and challenger with Rossi in the middle of them holding the belts. Because this is now a title match. The winner of this will win the tournament and not a future title shot. They will win the titles right here and right now since the champions are in the final. This made the match all the more grueling, taxing. Uh, basically, this boiled down to, towards the end especially, Suri versus Thekla. Now, everybody wrestled in this. Please don't misunderstand. But it really concentrated on those two, especially the last five to seven minutes. It was pretty much a battle between those two, and Thekla put on a hell of a show. I think she's one of the most underrated women out there, and I hope... Um, the next time we see her in stardom, that she's a bigger star. I think she deserves it. Uh, but she lost the battle here. Suri is you no know, shame there. She's one of the greatest in the world. Top two, top three. Um, and she beats Thekla to win the titles for God's eye. I mean, again, everybody wrestled here. Julia looked great, as always. And let me tell you what I'm seeing, too, here. I'm seeing uh, my Sakurai and Mirai facing off in the future. They went toe-to-toe numerous times, and it was hot. It was good. It was Great stuff. And I think we're going to see some singles matches between those two. I really do. Former partners, you know, they're going to go off against one another. I think it's going to be one of the best things for Sakurai's career. I think a lot of people are going to wake up and realize she's better than they think she is. Um, But this was all about God's eye proving their worth here. Working through three matches, two of them back-to-back. In this, they only had a one-match break, a short match between the two rookies. And they had to go out there and take on one of the best threesomes in the world. And the Bari Bari Bombers, uh, Julia Thekla and Zachary, who lost. Lost their titles. And you're looking at God's eye. And think of this, Mirai went about five days without a title. She lost her Wonder of Stardom title on the 29th. And wins the artist titles with her teammates on January 3rd, (laughs) so she didn't go very long without a belt at all, so congratulations to them, and congratulations to Stardom for another terrific, terrific show, I really like this, lots of matches, I'm not complaining, just saying, lots of matches on this one, Um, highly recommended, I I don't think there was a bad match on the card, Um, my least favorite was um, obviously the eight person tag, it's just too many people, even though I love Hazuki, Uh, it's just too many people. Uh, but I can't wait to see her take on Suri Anu. I just hope she's not the first challenger. My favorite match here, very hard to call what my favorite match of this night was. I mean, the main event was incredible, but I really enjoyed the rookie tournament because, look, those four are something else, and they're going to be amazing. And I'm, we're experiencing it now. I'm the start of Samurai. I will always defend and advocate for World Wonder Ring stardom. And I will be back 
with the next show, which was the very next day after this, January 4th, as soon as I can. I don't know how soon that'll be. I'm hoping I can do some of it tomorrow, but definitely by this weekend. Um, and I hope you enjoy it, and I appreciate the subscriptions and the likes and the comments. Please keep them coming. I'll see you again soon.